Hey, hey, what's going on, Second Amendment lovers? So, what we got going on right now today, we're going to go ahead and do um, host a review. So, I'm about to start going. I'm about to go ahead and uh, start doing my reviews and um, reviewing the my equipment and my stuff that I've been needing to review for a while lately. So, I haven't done, you know, overtime review reviews and how things been going, basically. So... What we have here, I'm going to do two separate videos for this one. Starting off, we're going to do with the CZ P10C, and we're going to go with the CZ P10C cloak slide outside the waistband holster. All right, so we're about to review this one real quick, first and foremost, because this is my Q, my duty weapon. So I do got 124 grain spirit gold dot plus P's in here. And that's most definitely the round I carry. So she is empty. Empty. All right. Set that extra bullet to the side. All clear. Point safe direction. Drop the hammer. All right. Drop the striker. All right. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this holster. So for people, once again, the cloak slide. OWB outside the waistband holster. That's what this one is for. This will run you about $39, uh, $39.88. Again, after that, um, it's going to, um, you got tax and shipping. Here in Michigan, that's 6% on every dollar. So $39.88 times 0.06%. But, anyways, to skip out the numbers real quick and get back into the holster. This holster is designed for comfortability so this is pretty much not necessarily a hybrid but at the same time it is a hybrid what i mean by hybrid is it's kydex with leather so now that's when the pros and the cons come so just to get my pros out the way um uh especially since i bought it i don't have any um, bias and i'm gonna just keep everything real all right first and foremost extremely comfortable so this is a five out of five star as far as comfortability. So very comfortable. The retention does not come in though till later though. So what you gotta understand is it's these, I don't know if you can see them, rubber. And that's that rubber right there is not as compressed as this rubber, or maybe even that rubber there. That rubber is compressed all the way down, which is where you get your retention. But your retention is not active until you actually put it on your belt. Please pay attention to that. So that is my concern with this holster. Even after you put it on your belt, that retention there is not duty retention. Okay? So it don't have anything to lock in place. It doesn't have anything to click in place. You do not have a, a positive audible um click as you enter this holster the retention does not come until you feed your belt through these loops and that's where people are having their problems and complaining about it however i personally like the holster so check this out that was just all noise that's that's not any retention at all okay so as you can see perfect fit but the retention does not come until you put it on the belt and the belt and everything squeeze on your body. And after it squeezes on your body, that's when the retention comes. So, but it's enough retention for you to adjust these rubber little boots. And once you Allen wrench those all the way down, Allen wrench those all the way down. And then that's when you get a little bit of retention. Now, the reason why this holster was also designed is for you to have the comfortability for outside the waistband holster. The, something that's not just kydex and it's going to dig into your skin, but we have our pros and cons when it comes to that. Some of us don't mind it, not to mention concealed carry is not supposed to be comfortable. It's, you're supposed to be protecting your life. What's uncomfortable is defending your life. So understand that um, that doesn't really matter. This holster rides extremely high, okay? That's the good thing. Not, it's not a bad high, it's a good high. So, boom, you put this on your waistline, all right? And it's gonna ride you high. 
Oh, right there. And, all right, so when you go to grab, retrieve your pistol, you are doing more of an arm can't. I'm not as used to it because you know I'm running my outside the waist, man. Um, short drop leg holster by uh, Smoky Mountain Concealment. So you have to train to this, which that's fine because I've already um, been doing that. So understand that uh, the retention doesn't come until you have it on the belt. Other than that, the form and fit is perfect. Trigger guard is perfect. Uh, access to your weapon to where you can get a good master grip onto your firearm. And the space that they allow you to give it is perfect. Only thing you got to just come up. That is not a problem. All you have to do is train to it. This is not the dangerous leather to where you would ever really get caught up on this. Like some leather holsters. All right. So with the cloak. You can, uh, this is designed for both outside the waistband, but at the same time, run so high and so close to your body and close to your skin that you pretty much, it is locked in. So you have it on your waist, but then you could just throw your shirt over it and it damn near disappear. Kid you not. So most definitely extremely important. Um, a lot of people complain about the loops because they believe the loops could have been more uh, better quality. And in my opinion, they could. However, and I know people hate this saying, but for the money, it is good. It's bottom line. You have to, you don't understand for the money until you <laughs> really think about $40 holster is good everywhere else. And okay, you complain about some loops. No, not cool. So basically, um, but other than that, uh, another con to this holster is um, you're going to get wear and tear understand that so it's gonna as you can see here mine is wear and tear because on uh, my belt depending on how you're sitting and everything so it's going to form fit to your body that's going also with your comfortability so that's no problem there um, another thing your screw after you have tightened your retention I mean I tighten this retention all the way down after you have done that, it's a screw that's protruding out, okay? So that screw, once again, is right along where you feed your belt through. So that's going to, if you got a leather belt, that's going to scratch up your leather belt that you, you know, I understand we got duty belts and I understand that we're going to have wear and tear. And as gun guys, we can't really, and gun girls, gals, we can't really complain about the condition. But if you got that, low profile and you're trying to rock it with a suit and you got that real nice low profile expensive uh concealed carry belt oh it's getting scratched up no my blue alpha gear edc low profile belt um thank goodness it's velcro and then um it's threaded in so i don't have a problem when it comes to that screw once with the leather oh you're done it's about to scratch and tear that leather belt straight up all right uh another kind is and this is my biggest con this thing makes noise you ever seen a annoying i heard a annoying piece of boot rubber and you just walk in and it's i know i sound slow but i'm trying to get my point across this belt this holster makes that same exact noise so while you walk around people just because you over here making all kinds of noise so as far as noise go no go no i'm, I'm sorry uh however other than that would i recommend it yes would i buy it again yes um i know one gentleman he reviewed it he said he would not buy it again um i would because alien gear it has good products good quality and uh for a 40 dollar holster you can't really complain so it is what it is um, then you get what you pay for. Buy once, cry once. And I actually did the alien gear. All right. Now remember again, this is the cloak slide outside the waistband holster hybrid, both, um, polymer onto leather retention. Doesn't happen until you thread, put it onto the belt. Not to mention high rise to grab and draw your firearm access to your firearm good trigger guard all right and then other than that 
It makes noise. Other than that, it might scratch up your leather belts that you paid good money for. And then other than that, um, yeah, you're nitpicking after that. You're nitpicking. I know uh, I didn't say it a lot, so it is what it is. All right, then we're going to have next up on what we're going to review next. Um, and I might actually make that video the same day. I'm going to have to make it in just a minute. So, once again, continue exercising the Second Amendment. Love you guys. Thank you. We finally made it past 100 subs. So, that is excellent. We're at pretty much, we're at 102 subs right now. Please keep supporting me. Like and subscribe, please. And um, more videos to come. Thank you. Dang, I apologize. Last minute stuff, last minute stuff. Uh, sorry, I'm over here in uniform or whatever. Uh, that that um, Alien Gear holster, you also can, you, you throw a jacket over it, it's perfect. I mean, really, really nice. Um, the holster is just so clean fitting, if you know what I'm saying. It's clean fitting. So, um, you throw a jacket over it, disappear, disappear. Uh, put something like a pin or some type of some change maybe I wouldn't suggest change not really but um something with a little bit of weight in your jacket pocket on that side whatever side you carry so that way you can throw that jacket back and draw your um firearm if ever uh, and pray not that you ever need it so that's that I'm gonna add this um on to the rest of the video thank you stay blessed stay strong